What were you talking about? Oh, I What's up, saying, guys? I was saying that I was looking through comments this morning, and uh -huh. it's something that I notice a lot that Nigerians, like specifically Nigerian women, mm -hmm. but Nigerian guys have said it too, that like you're only this way with me because I don't know, they say like, oh, it's only because she's a foreigner, she's a white girl, she's mm -hmm. an Oibo. Mm -hmm. So why? So like I've I've seen those comments as well, like where people say, Oh, he's only romantic because he's uh he's married to did you say Oibo? That's what they say. <laughs> you know, like, girl, somebody who's an American. Like. Yeah. Well, again, this this is it for me, right? When you're in love, you're in love. And people express their love language differently. Mm -hmm. And it's uh it's funny how people say people are racist or they call a group of people racist, but don't even realize that some of those comments are racist comments, mm -hmm. right? Allow a man to fall in love with, with, with whoever they choose. Yeah. Um, interracial marriage or intercultural marriage has been happening since the creation of the world. Since human beings started migrating, mm -hmm. there has always been, you know, interracial couples. Yeah. You know, even back in the days, like during the World War, soldiers went to war, fell in love, you know, and lived but their why life. Why are they saying that that's the only reason that you're like that? Is so, because what what I am. No, that, and that's what I'm trying to correct, you know, and that's what I'm giving that background information. Now, I have always, personally, I've always been like this, but I would, I would address something that as a society I witnessed in Nigeria and we have not addressed it till date. A good example, the girl I was dating at some... Let me some, pull up a seat. Oh, you want to see? Well, okay, let's sit down there. Wait, let me clean, I'll clean that water soon. Hold on. <laughs> this matter is serious, bro. Let's let's deal with it. Okay. Can I see your fine face? <laughs> yeah, I see your fine face. I see your very fine face. Okay. Do you guys see a fine face? Am I getting a fine face? Wow. Uh huh. Okay. All right. So let me sit down beside you so that your beauty can allow my beauty to shine. <laughs> So this is how I see it. I remember when I was dating. You're probably blocking my sunlight, but okay. Oh wow, am I blocking our sunlight, guys? Sit back. Okay. You know, I will never do anything to stop your shine. Shine on my baby. Wow. <laughs> so this is how I see it, right? Um, I remember when I started dating. I was in love. I expressed my love. I was taken advantage of, mm -hmm. right? There were there were times where when you when you express how much you love a woman, you know, the girl was calling me a mumu, you know. How you know it's is it is what it is, but you know, they they they, they took my love for granted. Mm -hmm. They felt I was like a pet. Ah now my mumu, you know they go anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like saying, Oh, is my fool is is not going anywhere. We have that as a problem. Mm -hmm. We also have on the other side. You know the society or there's this general you know i won't say general but it has a large percentage you know uh, when you're in love with a woman you know they will tell you ah, Omo, don't show that woman you love her too much oh. you know i'm like what does that even mean if i'm in love with you why should i not be free to express it yeah so growing up a lot of me and my friends which was a lot of guys you know we grew up with the mindset of you know we don't want to be taken advantage of so you see boys that are in love mm -hmm. you know but they are trying to you know um, not fully express it now that's one mm -hmm. on the other hand we also have issues where I've, I've seen men that were in love and doing everything for the girl the family members of the man you know they come and start attacking the girl oh you've used something on our son our son is <laughs> our son has become your pet our son has become your <coughs> all because he likes her too much or because he likes her too much mm -hmm. you know so this kind of stigmatization and mentality has pushed a lot of men to looking for who they can love and express themselves in my own case it's simple i was called mumu just because i was expressing myself all these things i do cleaning uh, cooking and all that. I've been doing that as a young man. So because I'm married, I shouldn't do it again. Mm -hmm. 
whether you are a white woman, purple, uh, yellow, yeah. whatever it is, color you came with, yeah. I will still do it. No, maybe don't carry it clean and I won't go clean water with pour for floor. This has nothing to do with oh because you. What you are, did you just say? Like I said, look at me. I just took a cleaner to go and clean the water on the floor. <laughs> You know, I cannot. <laughs> I just feel like as a generation, we must stop that stigmatization. Now, currently, there are a lot of men that don't want to fully express how much they love their wife simply because they don't want to be seen as weak. Mm -hmm. You know, and then the society created all this thing called tough love. You know, so you see a lot of men, you know, you see them with their side chick outside. They are like puppy. They are behaving like a little goat, jumping. You know, you see all those little goats. But when they get back home to their wife, they are like this. Oh, you, you know what I mean? They are trying not to, they are trying to be hard. Yeah. Me, I'm a madman. I'm a very disciplined, crazy guy. But when I'm with my queen, I submit myself. I express all of my love. But outside of my marriage... You see me on stage or you see me when I'm doing my prison project. You, get, you don't come around me with uh, some sort of indisciplined attitude. I will crush you. You know, I'm strict when it needs to be. It doesn't mean I'm not a man. So this mentality a lot of you Nigerians have, you know, because I've been seeing their comments. Mm -hmm. Allow the men, if you're a woman and you have been part of the people that take advantage of men when they fully love you, stop it. Allow the men to be free with you. You know, don't give, don't allow your relationship to be governed by the society standard. But I also think too, like, yeah. absolutely everything you just said, but I also feel like there's an aspect of why does anybody care, right? Like, I don't know that, and I don't know, maybe it is the case, I don't know, but I don't know that Nigerian men are like running, looking for white women or foreigners or mixed women just so that they don't have a Nigerian person. I, I think it just happens to be who they fall in love with yeah. because that person shows them love back rather than saying things that you just said, like, oh, you're a moo-moo. Yeah. See, even in Nigeria, we've seen cases where women lost their husbands to their house help. Yeah, Simply someone who was going to be nice. Nice to and them appreciative. and appreciative. We've seen cases where women uh, lost their men to their best friends. You know, simply because their best friends are like, why are you treating him like trash? You know, and <laughs> yeah. he, he finds peace, he's gone. <whistles> Disappears. You won't even know he came around. So, my own thing is this, right? Mm -hmm. People, like, for example, there's this big thing of, oh, um, they, they, they are married for a green card. They are See, you need to understand that people travel for a lot of reasons. I came to America not because I wanted to come and marry. I came here on a mission. I came here to pursue my project, my music, my uh, prison reform. But in between my journey, I found love. What did I do? I, I obeyed now. It's the call of nature. <laughs> I, I obeyed. But even in my obeying what, you know, the fact that I fell in love, mm -hmm. I didn't lose focus of what I was doing. I was still doing my prison talk. If not because of COVID, we, I had 20 prisons mm -hmm. that I was supposed to tour in 2020. And I already had approvals from the UK government, you know, the British uh, uh, government, a lot of go governors in charge of prisons in the UK already gave me approval to tour 16 prisons. Mm -hmm. But COVID came, we aborted all that journey. So falling in love is in different categories. A lot of uh, uh, Nigerian men fell in love while they were in school. A lot of them came to study, they fell in love. A lot of them came on a business trip, they fell in love. I will not speak for other people. I can speak for myself. But I really want people to know that they should stop. It's, a, it's an indirect form of racism. Yeah. If you are telling people... Um, it or, is, that's exactly what it, it is. It is what it is. You are saying, oh, racism, racism. But it, it, <laughs> you, you, look, look, there is an African proverb that says, remove the dirt in your eyes before you tell the next person you know, about what is in their eyes. Mm. So we must be careful as a society on how we do this. If you fall in love with a white person, a brown person, a colored person, a purple person, whatever color, just make sure you are true to yourself. That's a good one. Be happy. Yeah. Till the world will end, 
interracial marriage will never cease to happen. Mm -hmm. It's been happening since World War, like I said in the beginning. Yeah. You know, so again, I see their comments, but I think they are very myopic minded group of people. That's why me, I ignore them. Me, I don't, they, they are, leave them. A lot of those people, they are, they, uh, leave them. The, some of them, they are, <laughs> you know, oh, 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 uh, what's that? Mandula, Blangat, I mean, I what's that by the some of them, their mandula is no longer functioning. The right. blangata is on a tree. Mandula ablangata. <laughs> so did I address the question? I guess. Did you answer their question? Well, I, th I think I think so. But again, this is an interesting topic, and we would like to hear what you guys also think about it. But if you're a woman out there, let your man love you. Don't take advantage of their love don't push them away that's one of the things that has pushed a lot of men away from their love mm -hmm. that is one of the reasons why a lot of men don't fully express the joy they yeah. feel because, because some, they did and then some girl in the past like ruined it yeah took advantage of it yeah. you know when he's over happy you start don't take advantage of his finances because he's in love with you don't don't take advantage of anything his personality don't crush him allow him to be free that's why I love my wife. Oh, you people don't understand. Some of you, I see comments in some of the some people go and dig about me. They discover who I am. The kind of work I've done in Nigeria, my prison project. They are like, oh my god, I can't believe it's him. Why can't you believe? <laughs> it's me. I'm the same guy. But when I'm with this, my asampiti, eh? What is that? <laughs> my pepper soup. <laughs> When I'm with her, everything is cooler. And I'm grateful for the peace you bring to my life. People don't understand. I tell people all the time, one of the reasons, not all, but one of the reasons why I am deeply in love with you is you bring so much peace into my life. You never stopped me from pursuing my project. You never stopped me from being who I am. I am free. I don't need to come to America and become an American or Americanized. I don't need to impress you with that spring, spring speaking like as if I was born in a... I cannot believe you think that's an Americanized. Yeah, you, the, you people are very fast. Spring, 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 spring. I will not spring, spring anything. I don't know why. What does that even mean? You yeah, see, that's what you're doing. Saying, oh, what does it mean? What do you mean? I don't talk like that. Me, I open all my mouth and talk. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but... On a serious note, I'm grateful. And I really want you to know that I don't take it for granted because I know a lot of people out there, you know, just want to be happy. But simply because, you know, there is no peace in the house. So when they come home, is home is not home. It's just a house, and, you know. But thank you for making our house not just a house, but you turned it into a home. Remember I told you something when we said, I said, everywhere we are, you make it a home. Why won't I love you? Why won't I dance around like a... <laughs> like a school? No way, <laughs> In fact, smack me. Smack me, oh, smack me. No <laughs> way. <laughs> oh, yeah, pause. Let me take a picture. Leave your